You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Welcome to another Cold Fusion video. Degogo here. If we take a look at the recent explosion in the uses of civilian drones, you're in one of two camps. You're either excited about the possibilities or just annoyed by the drones. If you're one of those people that are annoyed, this video will at least make you appreciate the technology. So what am I talking about here? What if I told you that a team of drones built a bridge out of rope, all by themselves? Well, exactly that just happened last month. Let's get the story. One of the big selling points of drones is that they can easily get to places where most humans would rather not or just can't. Is it possible that drones could actually build objects that humans would have had to put themselves in a risky situation to do themselves? The answer is maybe. The video you're watching was filmed at Zurich Flying Machine Arena in Switzerland. It's a display of pretty intricate aerial construction. Every knot and braid of this 7.4 meter bridge was tied together autonomously by these drones. So that's right, they did it all by themselves with no help. So that's cool and totally awesome, but how does this all work? Well, the key is, before construction starts, the room is outfitted with motion capture devices. This motion capture equipment provides positional measurements that are communicated to the drones over a wireless network. There's also a set of custom software that provides sophisticated algorithms for estimation and control. So basically, the motion capture devices act like a pair of external eyes for the drones to let them see what's going on so the drones don't ever bump into anything. You can also think of it like an airport control tower situation. Okay, so a bunch of drones building a bridge is nice, but it's not really a bridge until you can cross it. So, can you? As it turns out, this bridge can easily support a human's weight. And I think that's pretty amazing. The researchers involved in this experiment say that this acts as a demonstrator to show that airborne drones are able to build load-bearing structures at full scale. So there you have it. Drones are now able to start building practical structures by themselves. But this isn't the first time this has been done. In 2011, a rather rudimentary experiment showed that drones could autonomously build towered structures. Is this the future of construction? A flying robot building a wall. The robot's developers were led by Professor Raffaello D'Andrea of the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich. He says the multi-copters use motion sensors to position themselves, but still have to avoid each other while picking up and placing the bricks in exactly the right place. Uh, it takes off and it flies over to pick up a brick. Uh, it makes sure that other vehicles that are flying with bricks are not in its way, so it, it uh, stays out of the way until it feels that it can move into the space. Similar to when you're driving a car and you want to go into, a, into the freeway. Of, of course, this is fully autonomous. The multicopters recharged while waiting to be tasked. They would then pick up a foam brick, each weighing 500 grams, and place it exactly where instructed by a control program known as the foreman. So let's take a look at the bigger picture here. What does this all mean? What about in 20 years time? Can we scale this idea up so that drones could carry even heavier construction materials? Could aerial construction theoretically mean the end of conventional building methods? That is, no bulky scaffolding and no projects that are over budget or over time. I personally think that probably wouldn't be the case, but there might be a nice halfway point where drones assist construction at times when it's both safer and faster. Obviously there will have to be a few safety measures in place, so it's impossible for the drones to ever drop things or collide with each other. So I'm going to put it to you guys. What do you guys think? Do you think this is the future of construction, or do you think it's kind of pie in the sky? Let me know your thoughts in the description below. Anyway, this has been Dagogo. You've been watching Cold Fusion. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Cheers guys, and I'll see you again soon for the next video. Have a good one. Cold Fusion. It's me thinking.